Alright, so just departed, and uh, what I want to demonstrate here is lean, lean assist, as I know it. Uh, I've learned uh, you cannot be doing this while climbing out. You want to be stabilized, essentially, at altitude, power. So we're going to do uh, 23 over 23 here. To stabilize power. Let's go ahead and bring up lean assist. Uh, tap the button, rather. And you can hit the level button and let autopilot fly if you want. But uh, we're just going to lean out slowly until we start going blue. Start to see the uh, CHTs come up. Right now we're around 11.5, 11.3 uh, gallons per hour. Typically you'll get uh, below 8 gallons per hour. I think around 23 over 23. Bring the power back further, you'll get down to five and a half, six, around 50% power, which is around 20 over 20 or 21 over 21. The GNC 355 here, Garmin G5. Type uh, to put this in uh, traffic mode when I'm not uh, using it for anything else. ADSB. All right, we're going to go blue here on uh, number three here in a second. Down to 8.6 gallon per hour so far. Hey, Rocket Man Wilson, Piper uh, 550 Delta Delta is about nine miles. You can see we're uh, come out right quite a bit on the uh, mixture. Plan for zero four. Let that stabilize. Everything has gone blue now. And we're about uh, minus 50. Lean of peak. That's where you want to be. Now, if I was to do this just off of engine noise, if I pulled out one or two more, you would actually hear the RPM drop. And then, uh, probably you'd go one click in. But you could hear it, feel it, um, that you're right where you need to be, either by RPM drop or using lean assist. That's all there is to it. We are now down to 7.5 gallons per hour, 7.5 gallons per hour. As you can see here, I've also got a carbon monoxide monitor, the Aether. Uh, integrated into the G3X. Thank you, Cupcrafters, for wiring that up for me. And uh, just give some information there. I do have the cargo pod on this plane, so it's good to uh, monitor. And that's it.